Now that we've finished this order for the government, which was 156 houses. Like less than a year after turning on the first factory, we're getting into a new factory, yeah. not bad. Yeah, just a year ago, we were in you know, 10,000 square foot R&D lab with a dozen people. We're changing drastically very fast uh, every single day. This new expansion that we have, this new building, is really gonna take that to the next level because now we're gonna have more space for more equipment and it's gonna make a huge impact on the product cost. Hey guys, I'm Paolo for Boxable and I've got some exciting news. We are going to take a little tour of our brand new factory, Factory 2, which puts us right at about 300,000 uh, square feet. So it's very, very exciting. Uh, so my, my business partner, Galliano and I are going to take a tour. Where's Galli? Have you seen Galli? No? Did you see Galli? Have you seen Galley? No. Galley? Galley? Anyone know where Galley is? Uh, sir? Hey, Luis. I know where he is. He's always in here. I'm surprised you don't know about this, sir. No, nobody told me. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Hello. Hey! Hey, what's going on? Nothing. Are you, uh... Are you, are you sleeping here? Sometimes. How is it? It's, uh, it's quite peaceful, actually. Yeah. I, I really enjoy it. It looks nice. Yeah. I kind of really like nice. what you've done with the place, actually. Yeah. There, I have some uh, leftover eggs if you want. You know we're doing the, uh, we're going to do the tour today. Yeah, factory update video. I'm the ready. Factory update. I'm ready to do it. Factory update I'm just, video. My hair is ready and I'm... I'm you just... Yeah, it's yeah you, want, you want your head to be nice. Yeah, it's, it's going to be perfect. Sure. All right, if you guys are ready, we're going to take you over and go see the new factory. But first, cue the music. Yeah. Hey. Uh. I'm living in a boxable. Yeah, a boxable. Hey. Everybody said impossible. But any obstacle is just an obstacle, yeah, to overcome cause we unstoppable, yeah, a boxable, yeah, yeah, cause anything is possible, yeah, 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 a boxable, yeah, yeah, cause anything is possible, yeah, 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 I bought my own house in the hills with a dream, never th Alright guys, welcome to our new factory crib, I'm gonna give you a tour, I'm so excited, follow me. Hey guys, come on, I'm waiting for you. Guys. In a way, I feel that this is uh, possibly, you know, could be in, in Switzerland. Uh, let's see. No, it's not, it's Las Vegas. It's still Las Vegas. Here we are in the new Voxable factory, just about a quick uh, five minute walk from Voxable factory one. This baby should be getting completed in the next few months. We're gonna fill this whole thing with racking and equipment and it's really gonna make us way more efficient, way more streamlined. And it's funny because when we first moved into our first factory, we thought, wow, this place is really big, but it turned out to be really small. Yeah, it does actually feel very, very small. It's interesting uh, when you fill factories full of houses, how the factory uh, suddenly shrinks. So our impression of scale has completely changed in the last uh, uh, 12 months. I think we've got something like uh, six or seven acres here and we need to really have 60 or 70 acres under a roof. You know, the scale of what we're doing is absolutely insane. This is a, a multi-trillion dollar market that Boxable can potentially tap into. We think the Boxable system can build most building types on the planet. And just a, just a really a big shout out to our fans and our customers uh, and our investors as well for daring to take this, uh, this insane uh, ride with us and uh, we will uh, we will attempt not to let you down and in fact uh, I don't think we will thank you yeah yeah thank you so much to all the supporters 
uh, from the very beginning. If it wasn't for you guys, we would not be here. So we are working very hard every day to make sure that we deliver a massive success and really have a huge impact on the entire planet, on the cost of housing for everyone, all that good stuff. So Definitely. Thank you. So we said, what's the width that you can ship all around the world? It's eight and a half feet. Um, <clears throat> we unpack round numbers, we unpack to 20 feet, right? So we fix that problem, we fix that shipping problem. There's no permits, no flag cars, you just put it on the truck and go. It's not just a few people signing on to this vision, it's now 15,000 people who are looking at this and saying, wow, you know, these guys are onto something. They might have the holy grail here, uh, let's get in on it. Like less than a year after turning on the first factory, we're getting into a new factory, yeah. not bad. You know, it's amazing, I mean, I think we're just right around 300,000 square feet. And yeah, just a year ago, we were in, you know, 10,000 square foot R&D lab with a dozen people, you know, very smart hand-selected people, which doesn't hurt. And then we, here we are, we're sort of probably knocking on around 200 people. It's funny, when we moved in, it all looked rather big. Yeah. And now it's, uh, I, think we all, I think everybody really just considers it a bigger R&D lab. So yeah, right now we've got probably around 200 uh, employees total. So pretty amazing. We are out here cranking away, building houses every day, lots of stuff going on, lots of learning happening. We're really focused on perfecting our craft here. Follow me, um, I'll show you what, what we have going on over here. If you look at uh, you know, the guys from DR, DR Horton, uh, our friends who've invested have been fantastic uh, for us. They're numero uno, as we know, and uh, largest in the country, probably the largest in the world. I think they're knocking on about 100,000 homes a year. Yeah. And that's what we expect Factory 3 to build. I'm glad you mentioned DR Horton because I feel like that was a huge validation point for us. Yeah. The DR Horton guys came in here before the factory was set up, if you remember, we had the empty building. And that was when we first met them. And we basically showed them a whole empty factory, 170,000 feet in it. Nothing in it except one prototype that we built by hand. Yeah. And they were like, all right guys, cool. Yeah. And then they came back um, a few more times. And very quickly, they saw it go from nothing to a huge <laughs> operating factory producing yeah. houses every day. And they then signed on uh, with the investments, with the order of casitas. And you know, if anyone knows their stuff about building construction and what makes sense, and what is going to improve the situation. It's these guys, they're yeah. the experts on it. Now that we finished this order for the government, which was 156 houses, we are now upgrading the factory. So we've got crane extensions going in, we've got a new paint booth, we've got a whole bunch more automation going into the lamination area. We have a bunch of CNC's on order. So we really have a whole ton of equipment coming in to upgrade everything. So here you can see the assembly line. This is where we put all the parts together after they're made uh, somewhere else. So it starts all the way down there where we just have the base uh, floor piece and then we add in the kitchen and the walls and more walls and the windows until we have these finished uh, houses. What they're doing right now with this house actually is they're folding it up to ship it out. So we're actually shipping houses here every day and this one's gonna be folded up, wrapped up and, and parked out back to get shipped out somewhere. I, I think we uh, have set some crowdfunding records. And when we started raising money, I had no clue how to do it. No, none of us have ever raised money for anything before, I don't think. And uh, just kind of started working and we doubled down on what worked. And before you know it, I'm looking at the numbers and we have 15,000 investors and over $100 million. It's mind blowing. Yeah. Everything we're doing is aimed at reducing the product cost so that we can have the lowest cost housing solution that's ever been done. So these are all wall panels after they come out of the vacuum lamination system. Uh, most walls are made out of little pieces of wood all nailed together. Uh, that's not what we're doing here. We have a bunch of uh, big pieces that uh, come together very quickly. They're all processed by CNC cutting equipment. So that means we have far less components than a traditional wall. So even at this early stage of the company, we can actually build an entire wall in just about 20 minutes. There's no chance you're doing a wall in 20 minutes with traditional lumber frame construction. So right over there, they put together those pieces to form that wall. And out of that vacuum lamination system comes these different uh, wall floor ceiling pieces. And then we put those together. Do you remember early on, you know, we had the, the institutional money came in to, to talk to us and valuations. And I, it, you know, it's normal for for the entrepreneur and the, the, uh, the institutional money to have a difference in the value of the money. And it's kind of nice now at $100 million 
that instead of the institutional money getting the value of our growth, it's actually the public oh, yeah. who are investing. And it's sort of very sort of democratizing and kind of nice. And what's also nice is that we're still all friends with all the institutional money and they're now coming back and they're happy at the high valuation because we've proved ourselves. Yeah. Uh, so sort of everybody wins. So right here, these are big EPS foam blocks. So most of the house is actually made out of this EPS foam. It gives us uh, incredible energy efficiency, incredible structural strength. It's an amazing product. But this is a great example of how we're looking to dramatically reduce the cost to build. So up until now, we tried to stay very lean, very manual, spend not a lot of money on equipment so that we could really dial in the product. But now that we're sure we're sticking with this method, we are actually going from buying uh, pre-cut foam to foam bricks, and then we're cutting these bricks ourselves. We're probably gonna knock about $5,000 in the cost of each house. This new expansion that we have, this new building, is really gonna take that to the next level because now we're gonna have more space for more equipment, and it's gonna make a huge impact on the product cost. So if I had to grade this guy, I have to say, um, <laughs> you know, sort of highly intelligent uh, individual, not sure where he got that from, I guess from his mother. Um, serial entrepreneur. And I would say in, in sort of our general roles, we have this massive overlap. We rarely have disagreements. We generally see things the same way. Um, and when there are disagreements, we just, we just, we just uh, work, work it out. Um, and I have so much respect that I can just, um, just say, go for it, just, uh, just, just go for it, you know? Um, and I, I'd say in, the terms of the, in terms of the general overlap, I would say the galleys is concerned with the here and now and the near future, and I'm concerned with the near future to the far future. And he basically allows me to sit in the corner with a box of colored crayons <laughs> and, and do what I guess uh, that I do. You know, if, if anyone's an, an expert at crayons, it's Paolo. Um, really, really, uh, the, de the design mind is, um, is awesome. I wish we could just plug his mind right into the computer so he didn't have to use the mouse and the keyboard. And then you just see like 3D models flying around and like parts whizzing off and back and forth. You know, obviously if, if I'm gonna align with anyone's kind of attitude and, and worldview, it's, it's my dad. So, you know, we're kind of on the same page about a lot of stuff, but then he's bringing in this actual life of experience, you know. Our roles are changing as well. You know, we're both okay. uh, really lifetime entrepreneurs uh, with this giant skill overlap and then uh, individual specialties as well, and, and just great. Uh, but our roles are changing. You know, when you go from, you've got to start with a very small core team and we've grown it to a couple of hundred warm bodies here. Really brilliant bodies, I have to say. Who's your favorite team member? That's kind of a loaded question there. <laughs> Jeez. Um, oh. You have to say, say Paolo or Galliano. <laughs> I know, they're like, but they're, that's like the same. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, both Paolo and Galliano, they're just, <laughs> oh, Galliano just looked around the corner. <laughs> well, I think it would be great to do that because show, shows are about, you know, showcasing the newest stuff. It would help people get a greater understanding of what we're trying to do. Um, I focus primarily on navigating the licensing uh, landscape so we can legally sell our units in all 50 states and also maintaining the quality management system here in Box School. So confirming that our products meet the highest levels of quality and that we give a good product to the end customer. We're changing drastically very fast uh, every single day and working together collaboratively and cross-functionally really enables us to look at the overall total cost benefit. I like how connected everyone here is and everything is very collaborative and everything's an open book. So what you see you get and it's a really fun place to work. Uh, tell us what you like and don't like about Galliano. Uh, well, I don't know Galliano. Don't make her nervous. Do it, do it over there. <laughs> how long you been at Boxable? Uh, a little over a year. 
What do you think so far? It's a great company to work for. The uh, founders are great, so it's a good environment. <laughs> He's, you know, really fun. Um, I can just tell this from the interactions that we have. What are you working on now? I'm working on an instruction drawing to help out the factory. Is this, are these company secrets? They are. I see. We'll keep that hush hush. We will. Tell us, uh, tell us about working here. It's, a it's great. It's a very exciting product. We're learning something new every day. It's, uh, it's a challenge, but we're figuring everything out as we go. It's very exciting. And sorry, what was your name? Josiah. Josiah. I'm the production manager. And uh, they're okay with you having a beard like that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, actually known to be the Amish guy in the factory. Oh. <laughs> Most companies you come into, the problem you have is that you have all this legacy data that you have to work with and try to get intelligence out of. Here at the exact opposite, we have to develop the processes for collecting the data, develop processes for developing reports out of the data, and then actually make intelligent decisions based on that. I love being on camera, by the way. Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you for checking out the new factory. We are really excited. Yes, this is a big factory, but it's not big enough. We need to go bigger. So tell all your friends about Boxable. Subscribe to the channels. Invest in the company. I'm living in a Boxable. Yeah, a Boxable. Everybody said impossible. But any obstacle is just an obstacle. Yeah, to overcome because we unstoppable. What, what's with the pony? Uh, well, you never got me one when I was a kid, so now I got myself a pony. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, a boxable, yeah, yeah, cause anything is possible, yeah, 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 a boxable, yeah, yeah, cause anything is possible.